time is running out for cold beer sales at Rickers convenience stores around Indiana. They have until November and December when the two stores, one in Columbus, the other in Sheridan, will lose their liquor licenses. And it's all because of the law the governor just signed yesterday. As our political reporter Kevin Rader explains, this debate, though, may not be quite over. Kevin? Yeah, John and Ann, the hope is a solution will be carved out during a summer study committee, but Jay Ricker does have another option. When it comes to cold beer sales, Rickers has to think outside the box, or in this case, outside the case. Hopefully we get these antiquated laws changed. That is Jay Ricker's hope, that a summer study committee will come up with some compromise that will allow for cold beer sales at convenience stores like his. I don't see a problem with selling cold beer here because it's a small town and there ain't too many places that sells cold beer. It's not like they're sitting around, you know, hanging out, you know, and, and creating ruckus or anybody's drinking, you know, in public. You know, they're just getting it. They're taking it home. You know, and if that's what they want to do, then why can't they do that? Jay Ricker wonders the same thing, but he believes he was targeted by a bill the governor signed yesterday, creating a threshold for sales in his stores that they cannot meet. But some other businesses like his were grandfathered. There's some pretty standard language in the Constitution of the United States and Indiana that um, you aren't supposed to do those kind of things. So we need to take a look. That doesn't mean that we are, but we certainly are taking a look at it. So a legal challenge is not his first option, but it still is an option if the state's antiquated liquor laws are not addressed. Well, maybe we'll come up with something over the summer and they'll deal with it next year. You know, a lot of Hoosiers are watching this. All right. Thank you, Kevin.